The Basques are one of Europe's greatest mysteries. Tucked between the mountains of northern Spain and the Atlantic coast of France, they are a people unlike any of their neighbors. Their language, Euskara, stands apart from every other tongue in Europe. It has no known relatives, no clear origin, and has survived thousands of years of cultural and political change. But language is only part of the mystery. Modern genetics has revealed that the Basques are not just culturally distinct, their DNA carries clues to an ancient past that predates much of European history as we know it. While waves of Indo-European migrations reshaped the continent, the Basques managed to retain unusual continuity with Europe's earliest farmers and hunter-gatherers. In many ways, they are a living time capsule. And yet, the puzzle remains. They are not isolated or entirely untouched by history, but their genetic profile doesn't fit neatly into the usual European story. So who really are the Basques? How did they preserve a language no one else speaks and a DNA signature that continues to baffle scientists? This is the story of Europe's most mysterious people. The Basques live in a small but rugged land, stretching from the western Pyrenees into the Bay of Biscay. Geography has always played a role in their uniqueness. Surrounded by mountains on one side and the ocean on the other, the Basque country developed both a sense of protection and a strong identity that resisted assimilation for centuries. At the heart of this identity is their language, Euskara. Unlike Spanish, French, or any other European language, Euskara does not belong to the Indo-European family. Linguists have tried for centuries to link it to other languages, from ancient Iberian to tongues as far away as the Caucasus, but no connection has ever been proven. Its survival is almost miraculous, considering that nearly every other pre-Indo-European language in Europe disappeared long ago. Culture also plays a role in Basque distinctiveness. Traditional sports, music, and farming methods tie modern Basques to their ancestors. Even when Roman rule, Visigothic kingdoms, or later Spanish and French monarchies pressed in, Basques held tightly to their traditions, often living semi-independently in mountainous regions where outsiders had little control. But it is not only culture and language that set them apart. Modern genetic studies reveal that Basques are unlike their neighbors in subtle but striking ways. They carry higher levels of ancient hunter-gatherer ancestry, mixed with the DNA of Europe's first farmers. While they are not completely isolated, their gene pool shows unusual continuity, making them one of Europe's most stable populations over thousands of years. Together, geography, language, culture, and genetics explain why the Basques remain one of the most enigmatic peoples in Europe. Their story is a bridge between the distant past and the modern world. To understand the Basques, we have to go back to the very first inhabitants of Iberia. During the last ice age, hunter-gatherers roamed these lands, living off wild game and foraged plants. Archaeological finds in caves across northern Spain, such as the famous Altamira, reveal that humans lived here tens of thousands of years ago, leaving behind some of the oldest art in Europe. Genetic studies show that the Basques carry unusually high levels of ancestry from these Paleolithic hunter-gatherers, more than most other European populations. This makes them a living link to the continent's deep past. While many Europeans today are the result of repeated migrations and mixtures, Basques seem to have preserved more of this ancient layer. Around 8,000 years ago, new waves of people arrived, early farmers from the Near East. They brought agriculture, domesticated animals, and new lifestyles that transformed Europe. In most regions, these farmers quickly mixed with local hunter-gatherers. In the Basque region, however, the genetic blending happened in a way that left much of the earlier ancestry intact. This unusual continuity, the strong survival of Ice Age and early farming genes, is one of the first big clues to why the Basques are so unique. While not untouched by change, their DNA preserves a snapshot of Europe before Indo-European languages and cultures swept across the continent. The Bronze Age was one of the most transformative periods in European history. Across the continent, new peoples arrived from the Eurasian steppe, bringing with them technologies like the wheel, advanced metallurgy, and, most importantly, the Indo-European languages that would eventually dominate Europe. From Celtic and Germanic to Latin and Greek, almost every modern European tongue traces its roots to this expansion. But in the Basque country, something remarkable happened. 
While much of Iberia adopted Celtic languages before later shifting to Latin under the Romans, the Basques held onto Euskara, a language that predates Indo-European influence. It is the only survivor of Europe's original linguistic landscape, a living echo of a time before Celtic and Latin spread across the peninsula. Genetics offers another piece of the puzzle. Basques did absorb some ancestry from these Bronze Age steppe peoples, but in smaller amounts compared to other Iberians. Instead of being completely replaced, their ancient farmer and hunter-gatherer heritage remained dominant. This created a population that was influenced by migrations but never fully transformed by them. In other words, the Basques adapted without losing their core identity. They stand today as one of the few peoples in Europe whose language and DNA still preserve the memory of a pre-Indo-European world. When the Romans swept into Iberia in the 2nd century BC, they brought enormous change. Latin became the dominant language, cities grew, and Roman culture spread across the peninsula. Yet in the Basque country, something unusual happened. The Romans controlled the region politically and militarily, but Euskara, the Basque language, survived. Unlike Celtic or Iberian, which vanished under Roman influence, Euskara continued to be spoken in the mountains and valleys where Romanization was weaker. Genetically, too, the Basques show less Roman influence than neighboring populations. While Roman soldiers and settlers left their mark across much of Europe, their impact on Basque DNA appears limited. This suggests that, although Basques were part of the empire, they maintained a degree of isolation that preserved their genetic continuity. The story continued into the Middle Ages. The Visigoths ruled much of Iberia, but Basque territories remained semi-independent. Later, Islamic rule swept across Spain, yet the Basque region again resisted major cultural assimilation. Surrounded by powerful kingdoms, Muslim to the south, Frankish to the north, and later Castilian Spain, the Basques navigated history by holding onto their unique identity. Throughout these centuries, their language and genetic profile remained strikingly stable. While other groups blended and shifted, the Basques stood apart, not untouched by history, but never fully absorbed by it. This resilience is one of the key reasons they continue to puzzle historians and scientists today. Modern genetic research has confirmed what historians and linguists long suspected, the Basques are unusual in Europe. Studies show that while they are closely related to other Iberian populations, their DNA retains higher levels of ancestry from ancient hunter-gatherers and early farmers. In fact, Compared to most Europeans, the Basques have changed remarkably little over the last several thousand years. What's striking is not complete isolation. The Basques did experience some genetic input from later migrations, including the Bronze Age steppe peoples, but the degree of continuity. While neighboring groups absorbed large amounts of outside DNA, the Basques preserved a genetic profile that still looks very similar to Iberian populations from thousands of years ago. One fascinating finding is that Basques are among the few Europeans who show almost no genetic traces of later historical movements, such as the Arab-Berber expansion from North Africa during the Middle Ages. This further highlights how geography and cultural resilience shielded them from sweeping changes that reshaped much of Iberia. In short, the Basques are not a frozen remnant of the past, but their DNA offers one of the clearest living windows into Europe's deep prehistory. The uniqueness of the Basques has inspired many myths about their origins. Some legends portray them as Europe's purest people, untouched by outsiders since the Ice Age. Others suggest they are direct descendants of the very first modern humans to settle the continent. These ideas, while romantic, don't fully match the evidence. Genetics shows that Basques, like all peoples, experienced mixing and change over time. They absorbed DNA from early farmers and, later, small amounts from steppe migrations. What sets them apart is not total isolation, but the unusual continuity of their genetic story compared to other Europeans. The real mystery lies not in mythical purity, but in survival. Their language endured while nearly every other pre-Indo-European tongue disappeared. Their DNA reflects the deep past more clearly than most modern populations. That resilience, cultural and genetic, is what truly makes the Basques extraordinary. The Basques are Europe's living link to the deep past, a people whose DNA and language offer a rare window into prehistory.
Despite waves of invasions, migrations, and cultural shifts, they retained a language unlike any other in Europe and a genetic signature remarkably stable for thousands of years. Their story challenges our assumptions about identity, survival, and continuity. Were they simply lucky, or did geography, culture, and resilience protect them? The mystery endures, why did the Basques survive largely unchanged while so many other ancient peoples vanished? Which fascinates you more, their genetics or their language?